Have you ever wondered how the celestial bodies in our solar system move in their own unique rhythms like dancers in a cosmic ballet? It's a fascinating spectacle, isn't it? Imagine the solar system as a grand stage, spotlighting a mesmerizing performance of cosmic proportions. Every planet, every moon, each with its own role, its own steps, its own dance. This isn't a random jig, though. It's a ballet. A ballet composed of orbits, each one unique, each one a marvel of the cosmos. Now what's a ballet without its prima ballerina? Enter the sun, the star of our show, anchoring the center stage with its radiant presence. It's not just the light that it showers, but a force, a pull so strong that it holds all the dancers together. Yes, we're talking about the sun's gravitational pull. Gravity, a fundamental force of nature, is the choreographer of this cosmic ballet. It's the invisible strings that guide the celestial bodies in their orbits, ensuring they follow their paths and maintain their distances. It's gravity that makes sure the show goes on, the dance never stops, each celestial body, be it a planet or a moon, is bound by this force. They're all in the sun's gravitational grip, each moving in its own orbit, its own path around the sun. The speed, the path, the rhythm, all are dictated by the gravitational forces at play. But here's the beauty of it. Even though they're bound by the same force, each celestial body has its own unique dance. Mars doesn't dance like Venus. And Earth has its own moves, different from Jupiter. It's the diversity of these dances that makes this ballet so enchanting, so captivating. So, as we embark on this journey through the cosmic ballet of our solar system, remember every planet, every moon, is a dancer. They're all part of this grand performance, held together by the sun's gravitational pull, moving in their own unique rhythms. As we delve deeper into this cosmic dance, we will meet our dancers, the planets and moons of our solar system. In the heart of our solar system, we find our first dancer, Mercury, moving swiftly in its tight orbit around the sun. This small, rocky planet closest to our solar furnace takes merely 88 days to complete its celestial pirouette, making it the fastest planet in our solar ballet. Next up is Venus, a planet that dances to its own tune. You see, Unlike most of its planetary peers, Venus spins backward, a unique move known as retrograde rotation. This sultry planet completes one rotation every 243 Earth days to complete. This dance slower than its orbit, making its day longer than its year. Now let's turn our gaze to our home, Earth, as we spin on our axis, creating the cycle of day and night. We also revolve around the sun, a dance that takes about 365 and a quarter days to complete. This elegant dance is what gives us our seasons. Just a hop, skip, and a jump away, we find Mars, the red planet. Its dance is a slower version of Earth's, taking about 687 Earth days to go around the sun. Mars' axial tilt is similar to ours, giving its seasons too, albeit much longer. As we move further out, we encounter the gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn. These celestial behemoths, with their numerous moons, create a complex dance of their own. Jupiter, the largest planet, takes a stately 12 Earth years to complete its orbit, while Saturn, with its iconic rings, takes a whopping 29 and a half Earth years. Each planet, with their unique paths and spins, contributes to the intricate choreography of our solar system. From Mercury's swift pirouettes to Saturn's slow grand arcs, these planetary participants keep the cosmic ballet alive and ever-changing. These are not the only dancers in our cosmic ballet. Let's meet the moons. Our Earth's moon, the familiar face in our night sky, is not alone. There are many moons in our solar system, each with its own unique dance. Starting off close to home, our moon is known for its synchronous rotation. This means that we only ever see one side of it from Earth. It's locked in a gravitational tango with our planet, always showing us the same face as it orbits, a phenomenon known as tidal locking. Now let's venture out to Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, which is home to the four largest moons known as the Galilean moons. These moons, named Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, each have their own distinct orbits and characteristics. 
For instance, Ganymede is the largest moon in our solar system and even has its own magnetic field. Last stop on our lunar tour is Saturn's moon Titan. This moon is remarkable in its own right. It's larger than the planet Mercury and is the only moon known to have a dense atmosphere and stable bodies of surface liquid. Titan's orbit around Saturn is also unique because it's in synchronous rotation, much like our own moon with Earth. Each moon, each planet, Every celestial body in our solar system has its own unique dance, creating a cosmic ballet that's been going on for billions of years. In this grand cosmic ballet, every celestial body plays its part, moving in harmony with the others. The planets and moons are dancers in this celestial spectacle, each perform their unique dances, guided by the unseen hand of gravity. The planets, like seasoned performers, spin and twirl in their orbits, each with their distinct style. Mercury, the speedy one, races around the sun in just 88 days, while Neptune, the slow and steady, takes a leisurely 165 years for a single revolution. The moons, too, are not mere spectators. They pirouette around their planets, creating a mesmerizing display of synchrony and grace. Our very own moon takes about 27 days to complete its dance around the Earth, a rhythm that has guided the tides and our calendars for millennia. The role of gravity in this choreography cannot be overstated. Like a skilled dance instructor, it guides and shapes the paths of these celestial bodies, creating a spectacle that's both complex and beautiful. Every movement, every spin, every orbit is part of a grand dance, a cosmic ballet choreographed by the laws of physics, performed over a stage that's billions of years old. Next time you look up at the night sky, remember, you're watching a performance billions of years in the making. This is the dance of the cosmos, and it's happening right above our heads.